Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out the Tecton half inch drive torque wrench. We're gonna check this out, we're gonna see how it works, and we're going to verify the calibration on it. So um, I got this off Amazon, it was very reasonably priced. Comes in this nice red case here. You can lock these down and store it away while you're not using it. It's always good to get a case on tools like this because when you're not using them, if you had to just throw this in a toolbox or a drawer or something, it's going to get all scratched up and beat up. So uh, really great that they give you a case. So let's see what else we have inside the, the case here. Here's the torque wrench. And we have the operator's manual. So with the operator's manual, make sure that you read through this and understand it completely before you ever use the torque wrench. This has everything you need to know on how to use the torque wrench both safely and properly. And always make sure that you're wearing proper safety equipment when using this torque wrench. Well, okay, let's go ahead and get a closer look at the torque wrench here. One really cool thing inside the case is it does have a conversion table for one foot pound, one meter kilogram, and one newton meter. So if you do have to make those conversions, uh, you have the information inside of the case there. Also inside the uh, operator's manual, you have the torque unit conversion table, um, which shows you, you know, foot pounds to inch pounds to newton meters. So you have this information inside the operator's manual as well. It just doesn't include the uh, meter kilograms. All right, guys, well, let's get a closer look at the torque wrench here. So on this side of the handle, we have the newton meters. And on this side, we have the foot pounds. It does say to store it 10 foot pounds or store it 13.6 newton meters, which are the lowest settings. Here's what the handle looks like up close here. Looks like it's good quality. It has some good weight to it. Let's check out the other side here. Um, so on the back here, we got the two different directions. On this side, we have the half inch drive and we have some more instructions here. Make sure to read through those instructions and understand them completely before you do use the torque wrench. So yeah, that's what this looks like up close here. So uh, next I wanna show you how to get the setting that you want on the torque wrench. All right, so this is how you change the settings on the torque wrench. There is a nut on the bottom here and you just make sure that's loosened up all the way. Then you can move the handle here. So if we take a look at the foot pound settings here, like for instance on the 20, there's a little line that comes off the 20 to the center line. That's where 20 foot pounds is. So if we turn the handle to where the zero meets up with those lines, right now we're at 20 foot pounds. And this would be 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. And then when you get it to the proper setting that you want, you just twist the nut back down on the bottom here until it's tight, and then the torque wrench would be ready to use. So in my 2006 Toyota Corolla, we're gonna test this on one of the wheel lug nuts, and the specification for it is 76 foot-pounds. So let's loosen this back up. And we can twist this up to 76 foot-pounds. So that looks like 70 there. So let's go right past it to the six, like so. And you wanna make sure you get it spot on. So there's 76 right there. And then we'll tighten this back up. And now the torque wrench is ready to go. Um, so let me take this off and then I will grab my socket for my uh, wheel lug nuts and put on my proper uh, safety equipment, my PPEs, and let's head out to the Corolla and test this out. All right, guys, so here is the wheel on my 2006 Toyota Corolla, and yes, I know it's in rough shape. I definitely need to get this replaced uh, uh, at some point here soon. So um, I have this wheel lug nut here just loosened up, and then I've just hand tightened it. And we have our torque wrench set to 76 foot-pounds, which for my 2006 Corolla is the specification for the wheel lug nuts. So 
when we do this, uh, we want to make sure that we use the torque wrench slowly and smoothly. We're listening for the click of the torque wrench and we do not want to keep going past it. That's why you don't want to go fast. It would be really easy to go right past the click. And if you do go past the click, then you're tightening it more than whatever you have it set to, which you don't want. So um, what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and put this on the wheel lug nut here. And we're just gonna go really slowly and smoothly. And we're listening for the click of the torque wrench. It's gonna come soon, I think. There it was. So as soon as we hear that click, you stop right away. And now we know that we have this wheel lug nut set to 76 foot pounds. So now let's go ahead and test this against another torque wrench. And let's see if this torque wrench is calibrated properly. All right, guys, so I have my other torque wrench here and I have it set to 76 foot pounds there. And let's just go ahead and test this out. This will be the first test. And we're just gonna go slow here, make sure that this doesn't move at all and that this clicks. So we know we're at 76 foot pounds. And yeah, this didn't move at all and we got the click. So we know it's at at least 76 foot pounds, but the Tecton torque wrench could have over torqued this and we'd still get the click from this torque wrench. So what I wanna do next is I wanna change this to 80 foot pounds, which is four foot pounds more. We should see this move just a little bit, but not much, okay? So I have this set to 80 foot pounds here. Make sure you guys can see that. There we go. And this one's a little different than the Tecton. Uh, the line zigzags down. So it is at 80 foot pounds there. And let's come in here and test this. And we should just see this move just, just a little bit and then get the click. So let's just go slow and steady. Yep, and I saw it move there just a hair, you know, probably just a, uh, just a little tiny bit, but enough that I know that it did move, so we did get a little more torque out of it. So, um, we know that the Tecton did torque this down to 76 foot-pounds. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head back in the garage and do a recap on the Tecton half-inch drive torque wrench. All right, guys, well, there it was. What do you think? That was the Tecton half-inch drive torque wrench. We tested this out. We showed how to use it. We verified the calibration against another torque wrench, and it did what we needed it to do. And, you know, that's the most important thing with a torque wrench is making sure you get the exact setting that you're trying to get. So, you know, being able to test this against another torque wrench and verify that it was calibrated, uh, you know, was a good thing to know. So um, let's not forget when we're done using the torque wrench, we're going to loosen this up. And then we're going to store this at the setting it tells us, which is 10 foot pounds right there. And there we go. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.